but have you ever asked yourself what is the power of a budget do you even know what is a power of a budget a budget changed my life um it's not about how much you have how much you earn it's about how you manage and handle your finances so money coming in and money going out that's what a budget is a budget is not to restrict you but it's to help you find financial success for the future and the future could be for next month it could be for in six months it could be for next year whatever it is but it's going to help you and you've seen so many videos of mine of course so you obviously know um that i'm definitely being 100 percent with what i'm saying um but if you are new here and you've never tried budgeting before but it's something that has been in your mind because you get paid and a week later there's nothing left and you actually don't know what happened to your finances and now you're like i really need to do something about it so you just came across this video and i'm here to tell you about the power of a budget now this is just part one of a full mini course but i don't know why i call it a mini course it's quite a long course a full course about budgeting what happened was a lot of people were dming me asking me to please budget with them um but i was struggling to manage one-on-ones uh, because obviously the time and doing so many people's budgets and understanding everyone's budget so what i've done is i've now created this mini course for you accessible for everyone but also what's nice is when you get into the mini course you can also join the cornerstone club if you're interested and we can keep each other accountable um, and help each other whenever we can in the cornerstone club the one main reason why you need to be in tuned with your finances is so that you can build your financial literacy knowledge so what is that it's basically understanding finances your lifestyle how to manage and how to afford the life you are living using the finances you have so financial literacy is very crucial in your journey especially if you're working and you're earning money and you're just trying to create a successful future for yourself especially a successful successful financial future especially if you're a woman but also if you're a man because as a man we you are taught to be providers um and sometimes it's hard because you feel like i have no idea what's going on with my finances but also as a woman um sometimes it's hard to find a man who will provide and you have to be able to hold it down for yourself um so for both parties it's very important one of the reasons it just empowers you to make informed decisions so when you are making decisions when it comes to your finances you have to be able to be intentional about your spending, your saving, your investing, your debt, just basically making better financial decisions for good financial outcomes and not living in regrets when you make a decision and you look back and you're like, why did I spend my money on that? I wish I had saved at this time. Um, so we all know what are rainy days. Um, so when it happens that it does come that now you need finances because your car has broken down or because you just lost your job or whatever it is and you look back and you realize that I did not make any informed intentional decisions at the time when I had the money. So what's nice about having the financial literacy is that you start making intentional decisions and you empower yourself financially okay so number two it promotes financial stability so again i'm going to talk about if you are working a full-time job you do have a stable income but what happens if you have to lose that job you have to be able to still have a stable income or money to be able to um, keep you to survive basically and be able to um hold you down up until you can get another job so that is important to find that financial stability whether you have a job or not and um, when you have financial literacy you start learning about investing you start learning about paying off debts different ways to pay off debt so that you can start saving more and building up that emergency fund but also what's nice about it you start learning about how to make extra money which again 
the cornerstone club is here for that where we're going to be talking about building a brand building a business and just basically helping each other make more money i know we love our jobs and there's nothing wrong with that but there's no harm in learning a skill or a way for you to make more money on the side Okay, so number three, um, another reason why financial literacy is important in your life is because it helps, it prevents you from making um, drastic financial decisions, drastic financial mistakes, um, because now you have the knowledge about financial literacy. So a lot of people fall in the trap of getting high interest debt, um, poor investment choices, I'm not saving enough and as we all know there's a season for everything under the sun at church yesterday we actually read Ecclesiastes 3 which everybody knows about it where it talks about um, there's a time for everything there's a time to be happy there's a time to be sad so there's a season for everything under the sun right now if you are working there is a season you are in a season of plenty um, if you had to lose your job right now you would be then in your season of um, lack where you're not receiving an income anymore are you set up for that are you set up for if that had to happen right now have you set yourself up for success so it's things like that that you need to ask yourself so in this mini course we're going to cover everything with savings emergency fund what i recommend how to start etc so that is very important and the best way to also start accumulating savings and building your wealth is by paying off your debt, um, which is your liabilities. Again, we're going to talk about how to calculate your net worth and all of that in the course. Okay, so another reason why financial literacy is very important for you, it's because it encourages um, you to save and invest because once you know the power of savings, um, compound interest, having an understanding of t taking baby steps now and what it will do for you in 10 years, for in the future, for your children when they go to university or whatever it is, you're going to start wanting to make those kind of decisions because you will now have a lot of wisdom because of the education that you have got from this kind of course, for example, or other videos or other YouTubers or other people that you know you enjoy watching when they talk about finances because now you have um, an understanding of financial literacy. Another reason why financial literacy will um, change your life or it's great for you, it's because it will reduce the financial stress and anxiety. Now, if you know me, if you've been following me, you know how much I don't want to be stressed because of finances. I don't want that. So I decided, I made a decision to take control over my money. And at the time when I took control over my money, I was struggling, I was drowning in debt. I had no idea how to read the interest um how to use spreadsheet how to budget how, how can i start with saving and I, I started with the 10 rand method and um just saving 10 rand and that video took off and went viral on tiktok and that's how norman's diary was born here in south africa where everybody started following me because they wanted my cash envelopes that i designed because i just wanted to save something and it started from there so you want to get out of stress and anxiety but the biggest way Sorry, I've got sinus, guys. The biggest way to cause stress and anxiety in your life is by not managing your finances, is by feeling broke, is by not knowing where you're going to get money for tomorrow, is by borrowing money from your sister, from your mother, from anyone. It's by having so much debt. If you go through all of that, you already know the stress that you go through every time it's payday. So having the financial literacy, taking control over your finances, budgeting and having a plan for your money and feeling control over it will eliminate that anxiety and stress and then um lastly what i'm going to talk about is the one that i did touch on which it prepares you for emergencies so you're going to be more aware of okay i've got a car i need to make sure i have a vehicle car maintenance fund a tires fund just because I, just in case i need to change tires windscreen just in case your insurance doesn't cover that um so things like that um but also not just that if you have children what medical aid do do you want to be on or do you have to be on i mean um but also emergency fund again i touched on if you had to lose your job right now that is your security but 
again it's not your company so you never know so if you do lose your job are you set up though for six months of you looking for another job or whatever it is so it's things like that that you need to start planning for and be aware of be aware of and having that financial literacy again will make you be more intentional and help you make decisions that are going to set you up for success for any emergency that comes up um other emergencies like funerals and stuff we all know a lot of emergencies that we've been through um so you just have to make sure that you set yourself up for things like that um and also lastly i said i know i said that was the last one but i do want to touch on this one just the improvement of quality of life you don't want to live a life where again you are just so stressed and have so much anxiety but also where you are actually just broke you don't know where to go you don't know who to ask for money you know that it is because you didn't make um good life choices in the past you know you made poor life choices and you you know when at the time when you had money you were buying all these expensive bags and hair and all these um trips and things that you actually didn't need yes it, it was nice to buy these things but you didn't need it because you still had debts you still needed to sort yourself out financially and then now you are living a poor quality life and you have no one else to blame basically at that moment but also i do understand because we are not taught this at school we are not taught this at home even um so i do 100 percent understand why we fall into a trap like this again i'm including myself i did fall into this where i was just shopping i was always online shopping i enjoyed it and then i looked back once and I don't even like those clothes anymore. I don't even wear them. I'm such a simple person, you know. I'm not a fashionista. I wear the most simplest things, but I would love those kind of things because how they look online. But then when I made the decision to buy it, it wasn't an intentional decision. It was just a impulsive decision because I had the money in my card. So you want to improve your quality of life you want to be able to know that you have a healthy amount of money in your bank account you want to be able to know that everything has been taken care of you want to be able to know that your children are um, provided for and that for the future they're already sorted um, but yeah you just want to be able to feel that you've got power over your finances and that power starts with your budget so if you want to enroll into this mini course this was just the first episode um first module whatever you want to call it um it's going to be linked below or if you want to just join the cornerstone club then definitely join below as well the cornerstone club is more about building a brand um and then the power of the um, budget is a budgeting course and then there's going to be another course for people who don't want to join the Cornerstone Club but want to learn, know how to build a brand. There's going to be another course on that launching as well. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the course if you love it. And comment down below whatever you've learned on this video and how it has changed your life. And I will email you all the information and all the stuff that you need to download for you to um be part of the course and you know take down all the notes that you need to take down what's nice you're gonna have access to it forever and you can watch it over and over again and obviously if you're in the cornerstone club there's gonna be moments where we go live and we chit chat and you know we basically can help each other and keep each other accountable and I can answer some questions as well. Bye guys no, no, no.